Hello and welcome to Your Questions. This is where I ask the experts of Finder the questions that you want to know. And how do I know what these questions are? Because I have been trolling the internet looking for some of the most commonly asked questions on Google. I'm going to choose one now and see what it is. This one is on how to set up Wi-Fi. Hmm, I wonder who I could ask. Chris, I'm so glad you're here. I'm not very techy, but I know that you are Finder's tech guru, shall we say. The people are asking how to set up Wi-Fi, but before we go into that, what is Wi-Fi for people that aren't familiar with it? Sure, so Wi-Fi basically lets you connect any device in your house that is Wi-Fi enabled to the internet. So that means you can walk around without having to be tethered to a cable. So whether it's your laptop or your games console, or even your phone, you can just connect wirelessly and it makes life a lot more convenient. Is it just a way of connecting to the internet without cords? That's another way of supporting it, yeah. <laughs> Chris, for people that haven't used the internet before, or maybe haven't set up Wi-Fi before, it can sound a bit complicated. Is it really? It's actually pretty simple. If you've never used Wi-Fi before, the first thing you need to do is contact your internet service provider. They can send you out a wireless router. There'll just be a small fee involved. And once you get that, you connect it to your modem in your house. So what does a wireless router do? Does that allow all the different devices in the house to connect to the internet without cables? Yeah, that's exactly right. So what the wireless router does, it connects to all your Wi-Fi enabled devices in the house. This means that once you're connected, you can just walk around and use them anywhere in the house that can actually pick up the signal. For people who haven't maybe used the internet before, some of us take it for granted, but for other people it's a new area. If you get this wireless router and you don't know what to do in order to set it up, what can you do to make it easy? Okay, so first of all, the most important thing is to make sure the router is set up in the right place in your house. Otherwise the signal might be too weak and you won't be able to connect to your devices. Things to look out for include, say, a fish tank and also things like microwaves. Chris, if people have like followed the instructions, made sure they've kept everything away from fish bowls like this one or the fridge, um, and they really still can't get things going, is there an easy answer to getting it sorted out? Sure, so what you should probably do is contact your internet service provider. They can actually give you detailed instructions over the phone, which is a lot easier than trying to just work it out yourself. Otherwise, you can check the model name of the router. Most of them will have a product page, so just find a way to get onto the internet, and then you can actually uh, check the troubleshooting page on there, and it will help you with any issues you're having. Chris, as our Finder Tech expert, if you could just say one thing about setting up Wi-Fi for people who might be feeling a little bit nervous about doing that, what would you say? Well, the thing to remember is it's not as hard as it seems. Most internet service providers are happy to walk you through the situation over the phone. Um, you can also check out multiple guides online. For instance, Finder has a whole bunch of them. Or you could just chat to a teenager if one happens to be in your house. So what's the quickest way to set up Wi-Fi, especially if you haven't done it before? So if you're getting your router from your internet service provider, it's actually pretty easy. On the router itself, usually on the bottom, there will be a network name and a password. That's all you need to connect. You might also get, say, like a magnet or a card that has the same information depending on the internet service provider. So that'll be the way you log in. So you go in and on your device, is that right? And look for that name, and then That's what do right. you need to do? So what you do is just say you're using a laptop, for instance, just click on the little network icon, and it'll give you a list of nearby networks. Look for the name that came with your router and click on that, and then just put in the password. Most Wi-Fi has a password. Is that for security? Yes, yeah, so when you get your router, it will come with a default password, and that'll get you up and running. But it's usually a good idea to change this. So the way you do that is to just go into your router's configuration page and you can just follow the prompts. Most of them are pretty simple to understand. Why is it important to have a password on your account? Is that because other people nearby, near your house or out the front um, could access your internet without your permission? Yeah, that's exactly right. So you don't want, say, your neighbours using your internet to watch Netflix because it can actually slow down your connection if too many people are using it. The other reason is that the manufacturer of the router obviously are the ones that gave you the password. So if they wanted to uh, connect to your Wi-Fi for any reason, they could actually do that. So it makes sense to change it to something that's only unique to you. And if other people are using it, that means you're paying for it, right? Well, it means that if, you're, if you don't have an unlimited data connection, then yeah, absolutely. It means that you could actually run out of data because someone else is leeching your connection. 
Something you always hear about when people talk about routers is speed. Is that important? Well, it kind of depends on what you want to use the internet for. It also depends on what the rest of your equipment is like. Like, for example, if you're using a really slow internet connection because you've got cheap internet, or if your uh, laptop is like a few years old, getting the fastest router won't actually make your internet faster. So like my dad, who's almost 80, he likes to send the occasional email and read the news online. Would he need a super fast router or super fast internet speed for his Wi-Fi or could he get away with something pretty basic? Yeah, you definitely don't need a fast router if you're just using the internet for the basics. Whatever your internet service provider uh, gives you will be absolutely fine. What about if it's like my house where there's like four people in the house all downloading things, watching different Netflix or Stan accounts, what would you recommend there? Well again, the router is just part of the puzzle. You also will need a faster internet connection and uh, it also depends on what devices they're using and what they're using them for. But in that situation, uh, definitely more speed is a good idea. So Chris, if you do want, you know, faster internet, more internet, because you want to start watching things on Netflix or, you know, ABC iView, what do you do to increase that? Yeah, so you can just contact your internet service provider and they can usually upgrade you to a faster plan for just a bit more money and then uh, that should help with all the devices on your network. So there you have it. That is the lowdown from our Finder expert. If you want to know more about Wi-Fi and how it works, click on the link in the description below. If you like this video, give us a like. And if you want to see more from our experts at Finder, why don't you hit subscribe too.